So we know that Hong Kong was the second largest importer of Japanese seafood last year. What exactly are they doing now? That's right. So as soon as the news was announced several hours later, um, Hong Kong's chief executive, John Lee, immediately instructed officials to um, take action to prevent, um, to prevent the seafood from coming into Hong Kong. And they'll be implementing the ban that they mentioned they would several weeks earlier. And so what this means is that moving forward, um, seafood, all live, frozen, chilled, dried, among other aquatic products, will no longer be allowed to enter Hong Kong from those specific, specific 10 prefectures that have been outlined before. So what's the fallout going to be for Hong Kong once the city's ban is in place? That's right. So this move actually threatens a whole swath of products that contributes to an industry worth hundreds of millions of dollars and we're already seeing the fallout for for the past couple of months when fears have arisen within rush, uh, consumers that maybe these products are already uh, damaged so restaurants have already seen a 30 as much as a 30 percent decrease on their um, on their revenue for Hong, uh, Japanese restaurants in Hong Kong and this is expected that if this this pattern holds holds to the end of the year, they could be facing as much as $10 billion Hong Kong dollar losses, which is quite significant given the fact that they're, starting, they're finally starting to recover from the past three years economic uh, recovery.